Welcome back to the Dark Mirror Podcast. I'm Hayden. I'm Haxon, and we have two guest stars this one, somehow. Uh, That's when you <laughs> introduced Wait, you guys gonna fucking talk? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, I thought I Blazing know. was going <laughs> first. <laughs> okay, we can cut all this out. Blazing, you go, and then meow. Oh, okay. Uh, hi, I'm Blazing. I am in all of Hax's We don't videos. care, we don't fucking care. <laughs> right. <laughs> Next. And I'm Meow. All right, welcome. I'm I'm keeping that all in. I'm keeping that all <laughs> <Okay>. in. <laughs> <laughs> Even a long pause. Um. Anyway, this is the first time we've actually had guests on our show. I'm surprised. This will be certainly interesting. This. Very interesting. We are reading Pokemon Lost Silver. At least that's all we're reading, from what we know. So since I know for a fact, neither of them have actually watched. Uh, or listen to the podcast. Here's how it works. <laughs> Hax is going to read it all. Yeah. While we can butt in with jokes. O- Oaks as he progresses. A- is- or anything you have against the story. Yeah. And then at the end we review it. Mm-hmm. So do like we have the- to be politically correct? Or. What? No one gives a fuck. Okay, good. Because um, I had to cut. Yeah, out, we like, got like three viewers recording. on Spotify, so. <laughs> I had to cut out like half I mean, of one of my recordings once because I made a joke about that black dude who got choked out that people are protesting. <laughs> we can put that in. Just as long as you don't make it too. As you don't make. As it long as it's bad. not too offensive, I'm pretty sure it's good. I did. Alright. Well, lost silver. Here we go. <clears throat> you see, I am a simple college student living alone in an apartment. I was very enthusiastic about- You just fucking interrupt me? (laughs) (laughs) I was very enthusiastic about the release of Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver here in the States. I purposely locked myself out of all media and the internet aside for school purposes. That means no 4chan, no uh, whatever slash v slashes, no Bulbapedia, etc. As I was busy with the school year and being poor at the time, I wasn't able to buy Soul Silver on its launch date. It was a good game. After my school year ended, I ordered Soul Silver on Amazon. However, it would take a week for it to arrive. I decided that during that time, I would replay my Crystal version on my Game Boy Color. However, I realized that long ago, my mom threw it away because I told her the save went dead, and I was very upset uh, about it then. She also threw away my Silver version too, so all I had is my Game Boy Color. As such, I set out to GameStop and bought a, new, bought a used Silver version as it's the only Pokemon game left that they have for the GBC. Ten dollars. Fairly cheap. Why not just wait a fucking week? (laughs) I mean, Mm -hmm. do you really think it's that easy to wait a week for something? Yes. Yes. No. No. (laughs) I waited a week for lots of things. Yeah, so have I. I waited a couple months. I went home and started up for a nostalgia trip. However, that's where things started getting bizarre, and most likely the reason why you read this. The Game Freak logo started up as normal, but it just froze there. I thought the cart was just errored or something, so I turned it off and on. The oh no, it crashed. It's not like that always happens in games. Well, not unlike games like that. I was already in the game... Oh wait, where was I? I, I tried pressing A and start over and over, and all of the buttons. Eventually the logo vanished and there was a black screen for about 5 seconds. Suddenly, rather than going to the usual menu screen, I was already in the game in a previous saved file, which was odd, as I was expecting all of those carts to have been wiped by the poor battery. Either way, I wasn't complaining. It's a fucking used game. W- what about it being a used game? When have you... Even if it, Do you... Even if it was a used game, it would still go to the yeah. uh, title screen. That's always how every Pokemon game starts. Well, I thought it said something about there still being a save in, in there. It's a fucking used game. Yeah, that... it just went straight to a yeah, save. It, went, it just it went, went straight, straight to a save. Oh, I, one oh, them, like, I, I just misheard. Through. I just didn't hear that part. God. <laughs> Either way, I wasn't complaining, as I would have chosen the continue option to see what the previous guy did anyways. First off, I checked his trainer information. His name was just dot dot dot. He didn't have much originality. I checked his profile and he had 999.99 hours put into the game with all 16 badges, 99,909.9 Poke Dollars, and all 251 Pokemon on the Pokedex. Seeing he used a Game played, Genie. <laughs> seeing as he apparently had Mew and Celebi logged also, I'm guessing he either used a Game Genie or was a really hardcore Pokemon player back then. I checked his Pokemon to see a ba- what a badass team he has, 
To my surprise, I saw five unknowns and a sixth Pokemon named Hurry. I'm thinking that this must be some cruel joke by the person who last played this game, but I decided to check the profiles on those Pokemon anyways. As expected, they were different letters of unknown, all level 5. I was a bit shaky with my unknown alphabet at the time, but I identified the word spelled out to be leave. As for the sixth Pokemon, it turned, to be, it turned out to be a Cyndaquil. Mind you, this is before they were individualized Pokemon icons. The Cyndaquil looked normal, but it was level 5 with only 1 HP left with only 2 attacks, Leer and Flash. That's a horrible move setup. I don't know why they named him Hurry, but at the time I disregarded it. The most eerie thing was that, despite my volume being at max, none of the Pokemon he said, or none of the Pokemon he had, ah, I'm fucking stupid, none of the Pokemon he had said their usual cries, just pure silence. Having enough of, having enough of the team, I closed in. I was parked at what appears to be a room inside Bellsprout Tower. However, for some reason, there were no NPCs around. Even more eerie was that the pillar in the middle of the room didn't move at all, as if just leaning on its side. There was no music at all, and there was no exit or ladder, or at least I thought there wasn't. And fuck. I walked around for a few minutes, but can't seem to find a way out. There is certainly not a room I've seen in the Bellsprout Tower before. I tried checking my items for an escape rope, but the, ba the bag was completely empty. There wasn't any wild Pokemon either. Finally, I managed to find a ladder, which turned out to be behind the pillar. The screen turned black and the music finally started playing. I had a sudden chill as I recognized that melody I heard to be the theme you hear when you listen to the radio at the Alpha Ruins where the unknown are at. I immediately realized that it wasn't a loading transition, but rather I was in a dark room and would need flash. Before I took care of that though, I immediately checked my polka gear to change the radio to something more pleasant, but it turns out that there was no radio card or even a phone nor time cards. There was only a map card in which gold, dot 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 from earlier, and I will call him gold from now on, was just walking in a midst of black. I recall that Cyndaquil has flash, so I turned off my Poco gear and made Cyndaquil use flash. I didn't see any message saying, hurry, has used flash, or anything like that. The room just became lit, just like that, and I soon regretted it. The room was a chilling blood red with a linear gray pad, uh, linear green pad. F fuck! Ah, you're <laughs> the room retarded. Was a chilling blood yeah, yeah, I am. The room was a chilling blood red with a linear gray path heading south. The ladder I used to go up slash down was not there at all. I had no idea but to head, or had no choice but to head south. The screen got darker every 20 steps I made until I finally made it to the end, which appears to be a sign. I read the sign which said, turn back now. Suddenly I was asked to answer yes or no, but there was no question asked. Wait. I chose yes. Hmm? He's playing this on a, an original Game Boy Color, right? Not like yeah. on a Game Boy Advance SP with like a back like screen? Yeah. If yeah. the screen got darker every 20 seconds, how would be, he be able to actually see it? Uh, flash. N no, like, <laughs> like, it doesn't have a backlit screen. Even if you use flash, it's still going to be fucking hard to see with that Game Boy Color screen. Well, it's probably some kind of, you know, it's creepy pasta kind of thing, you know? Everyone's magically has good eyes, you know? Fucking Sonic.exe. <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's not as bad as... Hey, it's better than that. At least he can't see anything that was like one that lasted for like one second. Not even that. Uh, <laughs> I chose yes as I do, as I do not know what it was asking, and the screen went black again, making a ladder climb as a ladder climb sound. The unknown radio music stopped, and in a few seconds was replaced with a with the not as creepy polka flute radio music. <clears throat> I was in another dark room, but I held my breath and used flash again. Suddenly it said, hurry, has fainted, which was odd since I recall that there was no status conditions like poison on him, and I clearly wasn't in a battle. I checked my Pokemon quickly, and suddenly he's no longer in my party. In fact, after a bit of investigating, none of my Pokemon are there, but instead are replaced with level 10 unknown. I did the same thing as before and spelled out, um, uh, spelled out the unknown. My then team of unknown spelled heated. That's or he heated, died. yeah. He did. Well, it's one, he did. it's one word. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. Either way, after that creepy change, the room was lit to reveal myself in a very small room that appears to be only four squares big. The walls of that room were gray bricks, as is, yeah, as if I was inside something that was hollowed out. Outside that room appears to be a bunch of graves, similar to the ones in Pokemon Red and Blue. I've walked around that small room and pressed A, but nothing happened. I've already concluded that this was clearly a hacked game, and some sadistic fuck sold it to GameStop. However, my curiosity kept me going. I checked the trainer profile of dot 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 again, only to find that the spirit of gold was missing his arms. 
He also seems to appear less smug, but rather seems more sad and empty in a way that I do not know how to describe. For some reason, it also now said that he has 24 badges, which was clearly impossible. After a few minutes of aimless wandering, my character suddenly spun and did the escape rope spinning animation. Instead of flying up, though, my character spun downward slowly, as if sinking. After that screen, the music stopped. After finally landing, the overworld sprite of gold is colored differently now. Instead of the usual red color he dons, he appears completely white now, including a skin. It's as if he came straight from the colorless Game Boy games placed into a colored background of the Game Boy Color. I checked his profile and now, while now is a... Fuck, what? Hold on. I checked his profile and now, while now is as white as his overworld sprite, he lost his legs and has what appears to be bloody tears from his eyes. It also says he now has 32 badges, which now starts to disturb me as this change of number seems to represent something important. I also checked my Pokemon, which this, which this time contains five unknowns and a level 100 Celebi without a nickname. The unknown are this time leveled, fi leveled 15 and spelling out dying. I checked the Celebi's profile. It was a shiny Celebi, except there's only half the sprite. One leg, one arm, one eye, and it has only one attack. Perish song. The area I was in itself was the Sprout Tower with the immobile pillar as before, except everything is apparently red now. I walked to north for what felt like forever. Eventually, I finally encountered some generic men and women PC, NPC. They were all lined up to the side, just facing the long slantish pillar in the middle. They were also white, and nothing happens when I try to speak to them. I kept on going north until ever eventually the pillar finally appears, chopped off, with transparent red in that spot. I went up to red, and without even pressing A, I was suddenly engaged and finally in a battle. The music starts again, which sounded like the, the unknown radio music again, but played backwards. Gold's battle ma uh, back sprite matches his front one with the, blood with the bloody eyes, white skin, and lack of arms, while red sprite was the same as before in GSC, except transparent. This text simply said, wants to battle, as if he has no name, and both of us only have one Pokemon each, which is weird as I swear I had six with the unknowns. My I was then shot Celebi 27 times <laughs> by his Pokemon. <laughs> These Charizard came out and shot me 27 times with a flamethrower attack. <laughs> <laughs> Conveniently, with half a sprite for the back sprite also, the shiny noise and animation was different as the sound it made sound, uh, the sounds it made sounded like multiple screech attacks used consecutively. Red sent out a seemingly normal male Pikachu, except he's level 255, and his sprite seemed sad and has tears in his eyes. All this Other Pokemon usual... keep disappearing, can't have shit in Detroit. <sighs> <laughs> and then Pikachu was shot 27 times. <laughs> Other than the usual fight item Pokemon run menu, I was only given the option to use the attacks. Since Celebi only had one, I chose it. Naturally, since Pikachu was level 255, he went first. Pikachu used Cursed! Or used Curse, lowering his speed and increased his other stats. I'm not even he sure. He then started Pikachu saying curse. Ain't many bad words, which no children <laughs> should hear. Celebi used Perish Song. At three turns, both Pokemon get KO'd. Not like I have a choice. And then I was shot twice. At this point, I didn't even go back to the fight menu, as the battle just continued without me. I also know, note that there were no animations at all for some reason. Pikachu used Flail, which didn't do much damage despite his level and boost all of his health, and boost as his health was maxed. Uh, Celebi used Perish Song. Nothing happened, uh, as it was already used. Pikachu used Frustration, which did a shit ton of damage, <laughs> knocking Celebi down to less than 10 HP. Celebi used Pain Split, which surprised me as Celebi didn't even have that attack in the first place. Now Celebi and Pikachu have about 150 HP. Pikachu used Mean Luck, not like that did anything. As expected, due to the effects of Perish Song, my Celebi fainted, except in the text it said, Celebi has died. And instead Ooh. of the ordinary drop off the screen animation, the Celebi backspray just vanished. For some reason, the Pikachu was still up even with Perish Song, and it didn't count as my loss. Pikachu used one more different attack beyond the, beyond the five attack limit. Excuse me, what? There's P a four attack limit. I don't know Pokemon, so I yeah, it's four I'm not attacks. even gonna. Well, I mean, it's unless you're counting four. struggle, because like once you run out struggle, of moves, you yeah. struggle. But I don't think this. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think struggle existed back then. Struggle existed back then. Really? Huh. Anyways, Pikachu used Destiny Bond. Afterwards, it said Pikachu has died, with a slow fade-out animation. Apparently, I was the winner as a transparent red sprite showed up and said, <clears throat> "Dot dot 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 dot." 
At that point, he I has such a way with words. Um, at that point, I just freaked out as the transparent red sprite was suddenly beheaded, leaving nothing but his transparent body. The battle then ended at that point and faded out along with the music. It, uh, I'm back in the overworld with another change to the gold sprite. He's now as transparent as Red's overworld sprite. I quickly checked Gold's profile. By this time, the only thing remains of him is his head, with a transparent skin. The head was zoomed in a bit, showing a black void in his eyes. It now stated that he now has 40 badges. I then backed out and checked my Pokemon. They were all level 20, shiny unknown, which spelled out, read, no more. I was at what I now know is the next to the end. Fucking, what? I was at what I now know is next to the end. Fuck me in the ass. There was apparently no music playing, but for some reason I still felt like something was there that could be heard. I was back in my room in Newbark Town. Maybe, maybe finally I get to play this game properly. But who am I kidding? I knew that sadistic fuck might have done something. I walked around my room to in interact with things, as I'm a bit afraid to go down the stairs to see what it why can I suddenly not speak? To go down the Quick stairs to see what was, <laughs> what was awaiting down there. Note I said, walked, in quotes. As while the background was moving, Gold was not moving. His tra transparent limbs, and all while doing so, just floating like those ghosts you see in Diamond and Pearl. As expected, the radio, computer, and TV did not work, so I had no choice but to go down the stairs. I ended up in the same lower level room of my house. Everything appears as normal, except Mom isn't home. After failing to interact with anything in this room, I decided to go outside. To my surprise, that door leading outside of the, at the south didn't work, and, and instead I just walked straight into, straight through it to avoid. Why can't I speak? I continue moving south to see what the fuck was going on. My my house vanishes as I head south into the void. It was creepy as when I entered the void. The outline on Gold's transparent sprite turned white to contrast with the pitch black. Eventually, I reached a white area and Gold Sprite turned, ba turned black and transparent again. I continued south without thinking of stopping at all. After a long trek south, I finally encountered something. It was Gold's regular Sprite. I talked to it. He said, goodbye, forever, dot 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 dot, notably with the space in between the forever and dot 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 dot, and vanished. At that, as that happened, it said, question mark, question mark, question mark, used nightmare, which at that point, I would not deny that being possible. Gold did another escape rope animation, spinning slowly downwards like before. I'm now back into that small, hollowed-out room surrounded by graves earlier. Or at least I say I was back there, as there's no sprite anymore. I tried to walk around, but nothing moved, not even wall bumping noises. I checked my trainer profile with absolutely no gold sprite left. It said I have zero badges and all the pictures of the Johto gym leaders at the bottom were replaced with skulls. I checked my Pokemon, which are all level 25 unknown. As expected, it spelled out a phrase that I dared to read. I'm dead. Mm. Soon Good. <laughs> oh, fuck. As soon as I went back to the overworld, the room I supposedly was in then covered with the same blocks as the walls. I then figured out what exactly that room was when the final text was said. R.I.P. Dot dot dot. That room was a big grave surrounded by other graves. Gold has already been dead. He died presumably a few years after he defeated Red. It was a young trainer who, despite his efforts in collecting so many badges and attempts at bringing a Pokemon at becoming a Pokemon master, was still unable to avoid the inevitable fate of death. His efforts were eventually forgotten by the next generation. I was unable to escape from that text, no matter what I pressed. I tried resetting the game, and then the same thing happened, at which I then finally decided to give up that horrible nightmare. After that experience, I will never look at the gimmick unknown the same way again. They say that, the on that only the first generation have folk tales and legends, but the second generation have shown me how unpleasant the truth can be. I have eventually enjoyed Soul Silver immensely, but I can't think what that rigged game has told me. Alright, that was it. Whack. Was silver. As someone that has never seen or has played very little Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Th that was okay. <laughs> I actually watched someone play through, because they made like a ROM hack of the actual silver game that you can play. I watched yeah, someone I play know, through yeah. it. Yeah, on, it those, really on the Creepypasta week, did they, did they, they literally I, have that. Yeah, did they do all the did sprites? They, did, did they, Shut up. Did they do all the sprites custom? Because they were really good sprite work. Yeah, more than likely. Unless for some reason they have all those dead sprites just chilling in the game files. What's up, fuckers? <laughs> it's kind of like that one, um, Oblivion mod, 
odd where they had a nude mod odd for the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, but it turns out all the nude models used in the mod was in the game itself. <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> no, um, it's been silent this whole time. Yep. Yeah. Well, I, I, I've said I've said a couple things, but I don't really know what to say. Well, what are your thoughts on it? Yeah. What, what did you think? I don't know. It was pretty snazzy. Snazzy. It was snazzy. It's Mike. It's like the entire thing, snazzy. but with Michael Jackson. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Personally, I like Pokemon Black more. Like As the a game, or was the oh. game or the creepy pasta? <laughs> the creepy pasta. Okay. I mean, I played Pokemon Black. Yeah. Gen five was the worst gen. Besides Which the one's sword that? and shield. Which one's that? Freaking sword and shield. Um. I just like Pokemon. Personally, I like all the games. I haven't I haven't played very much Pokemon and I'm not like super into it. Well, you but know I what? do I do enjoy You know what, Blazing, Pokemon. what's wrong with uh what's wrong with Gen 5? I it's nothing personal. I it's all personal. <laughs> what? What's wrong with it? That's a very good question. Like, it's just not spe not the original Gen Five games. I loved them, but Black Two, White Two were pretty ho pretty abhorrent. Abhorrent. What does this have anything to do with the Lost Silver? Yes, Pokemon. Easy. Connected <laughs> it. <laughs> I don't so get that. Um. Hmm. I don't really like that little uh. T like text at the end where they gave a reason as to why gold old died i pretty sure i it would have been better if they just left it up for Crushed the immersion uh yeah player just to like, like you mean the reader yeah <laughs> no pl the person that's playing the game and typing it out it i think it would have been more pow powerful for them plus you to use your imagination as a how the fuck he died Mm -hmm. He was probably shot twenty-seven times by a by a fucking uh, magic carp. Oh, magic carp. That thing with no hands, no uh, arms, no legs, no feet, no nothing. I'm pretty sure I'm talking about the fish. <laughs> I know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay. What did you think I was talking about? I I don't know. <laughs> you fucking tired. Alright, so we're at 23 minutes. Final load up Mr. Bones' is a wild ride. No! <laughs> we're not doing this again. You found a comment in the comments? Yeah, I you do want a comment in the comments? The however in the suddenly, the however in the suddenly could have been a bit, you know, you, you know less. But other than that, I liked it. Mhm. Mm um. There was. A, this is somewhat off topic, but I, I mean, it's it's in the comments. Like someone said, uh, nine 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 out of ten too spooky for me, and then they linked a video called "Bloody and Creepy Sonic Pictures." <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What, what the fuck does that have to do with Sonic? And then they also uh, had this image. It looks attached like you. With, with it. <laughs> the middle one looks like you. Oh my gosh! Someone in the comments said, "What about Pokemon found gold instead of lost silver?" <laughs> hey, that literally looks like you. Oh, what is that? I mean, that? maybe a little bit. I mean, I just need to <laughs> cut off my eyes. Cut off your eyes? What? <laughs> Cut out. Shush, I know what I said. Random note. Uh, another comment. <laughs> yeah, there's also a, something that, a comment that says random note. Earlier today I was plucking, uh, playing Plucking. Pokemon Sun, Sun on my 3DS S, and one goddamn Mimikyu uh, wouldn't stop using Pain Split. Fuck you, Mimikyu. Also, if you want on a plot twist connected, read Disabled. I have no idea what that said. I, I had no idea what any of that means. Uh, something about a Mimikyu and disabled people, I think. Yeah. 
Someone in the comments says if you want I'm pretty an sure actually if I played... good Pokemon creepypasta, read Strangled Red. <laughs> yeah, for some reason there's a Strangled Red along with a glitched red. Um, Wait, have you guys done the Russian sleep experiments yet? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's... This... Well, maybe I mean, if you on... listen to our podcast. <laughs> Why would I ever do that? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, on uh, on Spotify and Apple Podcasts, it's the third one we've done, even though it's not. that's not technically correct. I'll try and listen to them, I guess, next time I have to mow the lawn, which is tomorrow, because it's 91 degrees today. Good boy. <laughs> Imagine imagine but anyway we usually end these with giving it a number out of 10 i would give it a six out of 10 it's an original and i still like it and it's pokemon i give an eight out of ten the pokemon black ruby pass was better Uh, i'd I'd rather glitchy red over pokemon black i'd Um, rather fortnite ps2 edition no (laughs) i think i think i'll give it a five it like i I enjoyed it as a kid, but like actually reading through it, there's so many grammar mistakes, so many repetitions. Yeah. It's unneeded. There's a lot of unneeded gore, especially for something that's just. Eh. No gore. Well, not really. Um, go- well, like yeah. This- there's this. There's this um one comment that might be joking, but it says best pokey pasta ever. There's absolutely no cliches, even though there are, mm-hmm. and so much about it is great and unique i also feel like the transparent red was incredibly abusive to the pikachu because of frustration frustration becomes more powerful or the less the pokemon likes the trainer and frustration took almost all of uh celebrity's hp away 10 out of 10 and then someone replied to it saying absolutely no cliches and quotation marks there are some cliches Uh, either that uh creepypasta started it or they just used it Hold on, what cliches? Uh, cursed game. That's cursed that's game. one big cliche. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blood, gore. This dude ga- gave it 10 out of 10. The best part is probably the fact there's no 666 in the story. J- what? <laughs> what well, the fuck does that have to do with anything? <laughs> exactly. Well, well, I mean, some some really bad uh, uh, cursed game aim... Creepypastas use that, especially Sonic.exe, in that one Ew. fucking frame aim that the reader, that the person writing it could uh, say it, what happened in it perfectly. E- yeah. Even though it lasted one frame, Sega 666. <sighs> Hyper realistic blood. Also, bruh, this comment says it, he is my favorite creepypasta. Sends a picture he? of, like, I Sorry, don't know. He? It's, a, it's a picture. That's, that's what it says. A picture of gold with his eyes bleeding, and then under that captioned, also, he's cute. What? What? <laughs> what? This image. And then it says, also, he's cute. I mean, I'd smash. No! <laughs> Gold's underage. Uh, so he's like so ten. What? Isn't that so? like no? Stop. Um, there's also on April twenty eighth of this year, someone said the the guy assuming they were white. I how racist. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. But anyway, what's everyone's um ver- verdicts? I think we got a little bit more off track a- after. I don't think we really? got... Really? Uh, what gave you that idea? I, I don't think we got Meow's <laughs> verdict. Out, out of 10, how how do you rate the creepypasta? I still okay. get an 8. Pretty sure for a uh, majority vote wins, it gets a 5 or 6 out of 10. And average. Very average. You're average. Thank doesn't you. really hold up well, but pretty sure Make as children, it, as children, we all were fucking terrified of it, like fucking si- oh, uh, yeah, tail like, stall. This one, and yeah. what was the other Pokemon creepypasta? Like, Pokemon freaking, Black? No, the thing would come out of the grave and get you if you, like, clicked on a grave in the tower in the first gen. It's Lavender Town. Yeah, m- but no, it was, like, more of a rumor. Like, Sounds like Buried Alive or something. Yeah, Buried Alive. 
Yeah. <laughs> Fuck your Roblox. Imagine playing again. Roblox. Roblox John Doe. Roblox John Doe. <laughs> what? No. No. What's no. John Doe? Uh, we'll tell. We'll tell you John afterwards. Doe? We'll tell. No. We'll tell you afterwards. All right. <laughs> but anyway, this has been the Dark Manor podcast. Uh. Um. You didn't say anything. You didn't say your name. Yeah, I'm Hayden. <laughs> I'm Haxon. You guys want to fucking say your names for the <laughs> <Jesus> outro? <fucking> <laughs> <laughs> Here, oh, let me try God. this again. <laughs> this has been the Dark Matter Podcast. I'm Hayden. I'm Haxon. I'm blazing. Good night. And good luck.